All right, you guys, you're really going to enjoy your next comic. Make some noise for Mitch Frumpkin! I am very unhappy with the aging process. <coughs> Up till I was 50, I thought my behind was only for one thing. Now I've learned that it's the medical portal to my inner self. <laughs> Once a year, I go to the doctor. So she wants to check to see if my prostate is still smooth. The problem is I have a female doctor, so I pray every year that she has a manicure before she examines me. <laughs> It gets worse every three years because they take this long tube, they put a camera on the end of it, and they put it in there and they take pictures. I don't know what the hell they're taking pictures of. I'm just glad they don't send them to my mother to post on Facebook. And I would. I'm lucky about it, so I have a full head of hair still, even though it is forever. <laughs> Believe it or not, 10 years ago, my hair was shiny black, it sparkled, and no matter how much I tried to comb it, it would stand up straight no matter what I did. Now my hair is gray, it's dry, it's limp. The only thing I can do to get it to stand up is put gel in it. You think there's a trend here? <laughs> I used to enjoy going out to restaurants. I'd go to restaurants because the young, cute little waitresses would smile and flirt with me. I remember one restaurant I'd go to, every time I'd go there, the waitress would come up and she'd say, you're so handsome, can I take your order? Can I take your order? Just recently I went to a restaurant, same thing happened. Cute little restaurant walks, cute little waitress walks up to me and she goes, you are so cute, can I take your order? You remind me so much of my grandfather. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I get a phone call from my wife at the office, and she says, I'm not going to be home tonight. You better bring home your own dinner. So the good boy I am, I go out to the store, buy myself dinner, bring it to the office, put it in the refrigerator, put my car keys on top of it so I don't forget it. Three or four hours later, it's time to go home. I'm spending an hour looking for my car keys. <laughs> I can see it's happening. <laughs> I couldn't find him anywhere. After an hour or so, I took a cab home to no dinner. <laughs> a few days ago, I'm talking to somebody, and I'm leaning against the wall. I almost screamed because there was a hand behind me. It was mine. <laughs> now, just in the last year or so, my children have moved out. <laughs> And she heard that joke. <laughs> My children have all moved out. <laughs> no, I bring her. My children have all moved out, and I'm so lonely. So I call them every day, and finally they said, Dad, you gotta don't leave us alone. You have to get a hobby. So I took up stand-up comedy. So. <laughs> So then there's my daughter. My daughter moves away, graduates from college. After she graduates, she gets a job, she moves into an apartment with her best friend and they live in the apartment. About a year ago, our, my daughter calls us and she says, I'm engaged. We didn't even know she was going out with anybody. <laughs> so we said, we didn't even know you were going out. She goes, well, I'm engaged to my roommate. Now, of course, immediately, I didn't know what to say, but I look over at my wife, what's her immediate first reaction? Could she at least find a nice Jewish girl to marry? <laughs> <laughs> then there's my boys. I have two boys. The older boy graduates from one of the best engineering schools in the country, and then after two years of working, he moves to Jerusalem because he wants to learn the ancient Hebrew laws in Aramaic. He can now speak Aramaic. My youngest son, I only have three kids, so you're okay. My youngest son, <laughs> my youngest son is a senior in college. What does he do? This past summer, he moved to St. Louis to work for one of the best rappers in the country, Tech Nine. I don't know if you ever heard of Tech Nine. Yeah. Tech Nine. Yeah. Tech Nine. <laughs> so it's, it's actually Lee Summit. He works for Tech Nine for the summer. So my kids are real chip off the old blocks, aren't they? <laughs> but I don't know whose block their chips off of. <laughs> so 
a couple weeks ago, what I did is I called my wife and I said, listen, the kids are real chips off the old block. Are they mine? <laughs> Our immediate, immediate reaction was, tell me who's calling and I'll tell you. <laughs> Now you can all tell that I love my wife. She is my best friend. I've been going out with her marriage for many, many years. Best friend in the world. Anything I do, she supports me in doing. When I went up to her a while ago and said, honey, I'm going to take up stand-up comedy. She said, do whatever you want, but there's a rule. You never mention my name on stage. <laughs> you never mention anything about me on stage. She says, if you say anything about me on stage, I want equal time. Well, you know what? There she is. Sorry, I'm out of time. Yeah. <laughs>